But I'm really glad we all got to get together today, you guys. It's been way too long. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tracy. Hi, Hi guys. Tracy. How are you? Good. Yeah, how are you? Sorry I'm late. Sorry, I have some coffee for you. Thank Tea. you. Thank you. I was at clinical and we got out late, so I apologize. Oh, well, what are you oh, learning? Huh? How's class going? It's going really well. We are learning about DVTs. Oh, oh wow. What is that? Well, it's called a deep vein thrombosis, and what that is, it's a narrowing of the vein in the lower extremity, which causes the circulation to be altered, and that can cause a blood clot. Oh, I've um, heard of that. Serious. Yeah, and my brother, he broke his leg, and um, he, when they took off his cast, um, they figured out that he had a DVT, and he had to be hospitalized for a few days. Oh. So what's the big deal about a DVT? If it's part of your blood, won't it just go away? Well, most of the time it does uh, go away with medication, but uh, sometimes it doesn't. And the, the big problem with it is, is if a part of it, of the clot, breaks off and travels through your system up to your uh, lungs, it can cause what's called a pulmonary embolism, and that can kill you. So you don't want to get that. That sounds really serious. Yeah, How would you know? Bad. Would you have pain or swelling in your leg? Both of those things and uh, warmth. Your leg would feel really oh. warm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and um, I've heard also that some of the risk factors are, like if you don't move around a lot, or if you're in a long flight and you haven't gotten up, and also, if you're like an elderly person, you might be at risk. And um, actually, you know, I just had a new birth control, and my doctor said that I shouldn't smoke too. He's right, Lindsay. Any women over the age of 35 that smoke and take birth control pills are at a much higher risk for developing DVTs. But you're not even close to 35, so I don't think you have anything to worry about, Lindsay. <laughs> what about women who just had a baby or they're pregnant? Isn't that a higher risk too? They are definitely at a higher risk. They've got uh, a larger amount of blood flowing through their body and they're at a great risk as well. Oh, wow. My grandma had a surgery and they gave her medication to help prevent DVT. Oh, so I know they do that. Yeah, I think that it sounds like some good preventatives would be to be walking, have a really good exercise plan, you know, yeah. regularly, keep and, your blood flowing. And have a well-balanced diet, I would think, too. All of those things are, are great things to have because you don't want to get a DVT. No. Mm -hmm. So like you were saying, if you're not moving around that much and you're standing on a, your feet all the time like you, what does that be, make you higher at risk? Well, actually, I wear these great things on my legs. They're called Ted hose. <laughs> Show the legs. <laughs> and what they do is a lot of women I work with wear them, and men too. They're stockings that you wear. They're compression stockings that help push the blood deep into your veins and back up into your heart. So it keeps your circulation going and it prevents a DVT. Oh, wow. Sounds really cool. Yeah, I want some of those. Yeah, I know, seriously. Where do we get them? Well, I never knew about DVTs. I mean, so. Well, you know, the main things you need to know are uh, how to prevent one. I mean, the way you can prevent them is if you're on an airplane, for example, you want to get up and walk around every hour to keep your circulation going. Or two, if you're in the hospital, you want to get up as soon as you can if you've had surgery. The, the faster you get up, the sooner you get up, the better. Helps prevent a DVT. Um, also, um, another way to prevent it is to make sure you have a well-balanced diet and an exercise program. So, but you guys, enough about me. Let's stop talking about DVTs. Let's hear about Stephanie's wedding. Well, I just got my dress last weekend. Yay! 